Hi, this video is writing number three. Uh, the title is Grammar in Cantonese. We will have a look of the basic sentences of this article and discuss how to use the phrases to be a subject or an object and learn, how, and learn the basic position of the effort and also learn the causal compared sentence. In this session, we discuss how to use the face as a subject, and we use two sentences as an example, and both of them are formed by a basic sentence, subject, third, and object, subject, third, and object. And you may see that um, the subject of the uh, first sentence is a face, and it formed by three nouns and one conjunction. And the subject of second sentence are also is also a phrase informed by two nouns and two conjunction. So um, it is very easy to form a simple uh, phrase and make it as a subject. And at the beginning, I suggest you to make the phrase as simple as possible so that it can be connected with the third time and place indicators. And with the same principle, we can use the face as an uh, object. For example, this sentence is formed by a basic sentence, subject, third, and object. And you can see that we use a face as the object. In this sentence, we use the basic sentence to form the face, subject, third, and object. And then we put the adjective before the noun. And we must remember that the uh, uh, to, to make sure that the, the face should be uh, connected with the third. In this case, it is Lao Kok Liu. In this session, we talk about some basic concept of the effort. We usually put the effort before the first. For example, in this sentence, we have uh, two efforts before the third. And the reason we use one more word, Ya, yeah, because the, um, the eyes and the ears has repeated action saw yun. The first time they uh, alienate the mouth and the second time they alienate with each other. So um, we use the ya, one more effort, ya, to emphasize that they have repeated some action. There are two basic formats of causal compass sentence and the type we use in this article is to put the results uh, sentence at first and then the cause sentence and we should also put the keywords yan wai at the beginning of the cause sentence for example in the result sentence we tell the f the results first an jing wo yi do but hei fun hao and then in the cause sentence we tell people the reason but uh, we should put the keywords Yanwei at the beginning of the sentence and then they tell people the reason. How Lao Kok Liu season. In this session we use the above example to show the the another format of causal compass sentence. Actually we just need to uh, change the order. For example we put the cause sentence at first and then the result sentence. And we just need to put a keyword yan wai or yao yu at the beginning of the course sentence and then put the keywords so yi at the beginning of the result sentence. For example, in the course sentence, we put the keywords yan wai or yao yu at the beginning and then tell people the, the reason. How lao kok liu si sa. And then in the result sentence, we put the keywords so yi at the beginning at the beginning and then tell people the result 眼睛和耳朵不喜欢口